Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome now claims that Azimio went to the mortuary, hired bodies, dead bodies, threw them in the streets, and claimed that those are people who were murdered by the police during the protests. This claim was made in Nyeri, where the IG was speaking to the media. He says the Azimio side then went ahead to invite the media to film the bodies that they had gotten from a mortuary. It's an outrageous claim that has got many people talking about, but the question is, can he prove that? And if he knew this was done, why? Why did the government not move to stop it? The quote says, It is so unfortunate that some senior members of the society go to the mortuary hiring dead bodies, calling the media and telling them that these people were killed by the police. How long can some of our leaders sink? This is obviously an outrageous claim that will need a lot of evidence and support for him to show in fact this is what happened. But just claiming it offhandedly might not be so convincing. The issue has already sparked a lot of debate on on social media. It's the first time Koma is talking about those demos since they happened last month for three consecutive days. Azimio leader Elodinga earlier had claimed that 50 people have been killed since March in this back and forth with the police during the demos. Now Baba says if the bipartisan talks between Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio do not bear fruits again, then the people of Kenya will be forced to go back to the streets to agitate for the government to lower the cost of living because for many Kenyans, that's the only issue that's worth discussing. These talks are expected to happen in public. Earlier it was City Hall, then it became Bomas, and it seems there might be a lot of problems before, during, and after those talks that are expected to take place tomorrow, Wednesday.